Hey friends, how are you today? So I know that I know that a lot of you, there's been a lot of questions about the frequently bought together uh, section of Amazon disappearing. And I know for all of us bundlers out there, that was a big resource for us to use when we were making bundles. And so before you freak out and before we, we you know, even get into that, I wanna talk about four different ways that you can make bundles without using frequently bought together. Now I will say that frequently bought together was super convenient and we were so thankful that Amazon provided that for so long, but it is not the be all catch all when it comes to making bundles. As a matter of fact, it should be just a snapshot in time and not really what you should base full bundles around. And so I wanted to clear up the little controversy about this because a lot of people are like, oh no, frequently bought together is gone. Now I don't have any bundle ideas. No, that's not true. And that's not what I teach. And that's not what we need to be knowing about bundles. Number one thing to learn about bundles when you're creating a bundle has nothing to do with frequently bought together. What have we said over and over and over again about creating bundles is to solve a problem or meet a need. So you're not just trying to throw stuff together so that people won't copy off your bundle and you can own the buy box and, you know, make basically a brand new item for Amazon that, that no one cares about. No, you're solving a problem or meeting a need. You're putting things together that people already use together. So literally thinking about asking about the, the customer. That's the number one thing, not frequently bought together. The number one thing that you need to know when it comes to Amazon and it comes to making bundles is what, me, what need am I meeting and what problem am I solving? Think about the customer. What are they gonna use it for? How are they gonna use it? Where are they gonna use it? What are they gonna do with it? Those types of things will help you build the right bundle. You don't build bundles from frequently bought together. Although that's helpful, that's not where you're supposed to start to begin with. So think about that. Think about where the customer is gonna use this, how are they gonna use it? What's it for? Is it for them? Is it for someone else? Is it for a specific purpose like cooking or cleaning or a hobby or something like that? And think about all the things that groups together. For example, if you have somebody who's a painter, I'm loosely, I use the term loosely, I'm a painter. I like to do acrylic pour painting. I like to just make messes with paint. I don't know if that's artistry or what, but whatever. But what are the supplies that I need for paint? Well, I need to paint on canvas. I need to paint, I need, you know, cleaning supplies. I need brushes. I need disposable items that I use on a regular basis for, um, you know, like little plastic cups and stuff. Actually, one of my favorite things to use to mix paint is like those tiny little shot glass cups that they have. You buy them at like the dollar store. They look like red solo cups, except for they're like this big. Anyway, you think about the customer. What are they doing? How are they doing it? What are they using it for? That's where you get your ideas. You don't just get them from frequently bought together. So that's number one. Number two, and do your research. You guys, this isn't easy. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it and everyone would be making all kinds of money and it would be all sunshines and rainbows. But guess what? It's not always like that. Sometimes you actually have to do work. <gasps> Actually, it has to be easier. You know, everyone wants it to be easier. No, it's a little bit harder than frequently bought together. As a matter of fact, frequently bought together should not have, you should have shrugged your shoulders at that and been like, oh, well, that's really not in there anymore. That was helpful, but now it's gone. Instead, solve a problem or meet a need with the bundle that you're putting together. Number and do your research. And here's how I'm giving you re reasons and what to research. Literally write that down. Who's the customer? Who's going to buy this? What are they going to use it for? How are they going to use it? Answer all those questions. Then read reviews. Okay. So this is one of my number one places to get bundle ideas, not frequently bought together. And it is reading reviews. If you go to your main product that you're considering bundling with something else, read the reviews, read what customers are saying about the product. A lot of times they'll go in and say, this was awesome. And this is how I used it. Some people post videos and pictures and you can actually see what they did with the main product. And surprised you might your eyes might be open to see brand new niches because they haven't looked at these types of things you haven't looked at these types of things in that way people use things for all kinds of random reasons you would never even know so read reviews also read the Q&A sections on the listings that you're considering bundling so if you're considering bundling um, I don't know I don't have anything sitting around here to show you but like if you're considering bundling like for example my art paint you know what are things people are using read the reviews read the q a's sections read the questions and answers and learn something more about the products that you haven't really been you know thought about 
Number three, three or four, I guess this would be, yeah, number three. Number three is Google Images, websites, catalogs, and Pinterest, okay? So these are places to get ideas about what people are bundling with what when you don't have any clue. So here's an example. Someone recently reached out to me and they said, you know, I came across, you know, a whole palette of really dirt cheap, like plastic table covers, plastic tablecloths. They're basically like sheets of plastic. They don't have any designs on them. You can buy them from dollar stores at this point. But this person was literally saying they could get these for 10 cents a piece. And so I'm like, do some research on that and figure out who's who's buying these table covers and what. They could be for party supplies, yeah, but they could also be for all kinds of things. And the research turned out that they were people were using them as, you know, to cover for things like painting <laughs> so that they can just put plastic sheeting on, paint, and then throw it away and it's no big deal or recycle or whatever it is. So look at Google Images. Type your item in and hit Google Image and then just look at a bunch of pictures. You might get ideas you never had. And then Pinterest is always a great thing. So a do-it-yourself type thing. I mean, we were looking for different uses for cardboard tubes recently. Like, what can we make out of these? And there's like a million gazillion ideas for that. Now, clearly you're not selling that on Amazon. It's just the whole idea factory. If you're not good at ideas or if you don't trust your own um, ability to come up with this kind of stuff, you need to read and understand what's there. And then the fourth one is knowing what you know. So I'm going to be as gentle as I can about saying this, but it's common sense type things. So if it's used together, if it's in, I mean, just because it's in the kitchen doesn't mean it's always used together. I mean, just, just putting that out there, you know, you don't, you, you just, just because something might be used for food preparation doesn't mean it's always used together. So you just want to think about categories of stuff. Use your knowledge bank. Don't look at a best selling product and figure out what you can bundle with it because that's not what you know about. If you don't know the customer and what they need and what their problem they're trying to solve with this product, you're never going to come up with a bundle that does very well because you don't understand the customer and why they would want these things together. It's not just because it's convenient, although that's helpful. Um, it's not just convenience. It's they want this item from a for a purpose and they kind of, you know, want to use these things together. It's easier, it's cheaper, it's faster, it's whatever those things. So yeah, Pinterest is an addiction, Laura. That's right. Um, so these are just these types, types of things. So before you freak out about frequently bought together and what people are doing with all that kind of stuff, yes, I understand that it was convenient, but now that Amazon is moving towards other things, there's other sections. They're sponsored by, and people who shopped for this also shopped for these things. That's still an idea factory. So do all the research to be able to make the bundles. And don't think for a second during these quarantine times that bundles are just like, oh, they're just over here and dead in the water. I've created seven new bundles since this whole, you know, COVID thing started and I'm marching fulfilling like crazy and I'm still creating new bundles. I'm still ordering wholesale that's being delivered, that's being shipped out, whether it's merchant fulfill or FBA or both, depends on the essential parts. So just Keep those things in mind when you're going through all of all of your stuff that instead of making excuses, look around the corners. Your competition is whining about frequently bought together being disappeared, but you're not because you just got four specific tips that have nothing to do with frequently bought together that you can still go and make bundles with. So no more excuses, no more craziness. Y'all can do this. I believe in you and I would love to be able to hear about your bundle wins even during this this uncertain Amazon selling time at this point, but things are going well. So I just want to make sure that I'm checking in on you guys. You're doing okay. And here's just the, these four tips that you can use to continue to create bundles. Hope you all are doing well. I hope everything's fine. Leave comments, reach out to me if you guys need anything. And until next time, have a good rest of your day.